Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. Guys, in this video, we'll learn about GraphQL. So in Salesforce, GraphQL is a new way to fetch data and show it on your Lightning Web components. GraphQL is a wire adapter basically, which will use LDS to store data in cache memory and show it on your Lightning Web component. Now you must be thinking, we were already using wire adapters, then why we need this? So in your previous wire adapters, there are two things. First, you need Apex to faster data. In GraphQL, you don't have to write a single line of code in Apex to faster data. One reason. Another reason, in previous wire adapters, you need to have a separate wire adapter, a separate line of code to have a separate query, right? But in GraphQL, you can do this thing using a single wire adapter, using a single GraphQL wire adapter. You don't have to add multiple wire adapters to have multiple queries. Apart from that, GraphQL will be working on UI APIs. Now, I know we must be using UI APIs to fetch multiple records, but GraphQL is kind of a custom UI API where you are the owner of it. You will be sending the query. You will be writing the query in GraphQL API. You will be passing the required parameters. You will be adding the where clause and other condition. You will be adding the filter. So basically, you own that query. And based on your requirement, the query will return the data. So in this video, I'll show you how you can use GraphQL with your Lightning Web component as this is going to be the first video. So in this video, we'll keep it little basics and there will be for sure other videos as well where I'll show you some more functionalities related to GraphQL. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. guys let's start today's video so guys in this video as this is going to be the first video on my channel related to GraphQL I'll try to keep it basic and I'll just show you a couple of examples related to GraphQL so we'll be having two examples today in first example we'll be trying to get list of records from the database to the lightning web component using GraphQL and in another one we will try to add a filter using the reactive parameters so let me show you the output so this is going to be the output of the first result, which is wired with GraphQL. To save the time, I am already having the code here. So I'll just quickly explain the code and uh, I'll let you know how you can use it in your Lightning Web components. So as uh, I mentioned earlier, this GraphQL is uh, pretty new in Salesforce and it is having a complete new syntax. So if you are worried about like how you are going to remember the syntax, trust me, I am not able to remember it either but still I mean uh, when we will be getting habitual to it while we will be using it multiple times uh, like Apex or any other syntax you will be getting habitual to this one as well so to add GraphQL you can simply import it using GQL uh, variable here and uh, as I told you it is a UI uh, UI API so you can import it from UI GraphQL APIs okay so the GraphQL will be returning two things uh, like any other wire adapter, it will return error and uh, success as a result, right? So syntax is uh, pretty similar to the wire adapter what we were using. So you just need to add the wire keyword and you just need to have the name of that uh, imported GraphQL. Then there are a couple of things which are mandatory to pass here. The first is query, query is mandatory. Second is uh, variable, variables are not mandatory. You can pass it as per your requirement. If you need to just retrieve the data, you don't have to pass any other variable there. Then third and another optional parameter is operation name. If you're performing multiple operations with a single GraphQL, then you need to mention a specific name for each of the operation. Otherwise you don't have to use it, okay? So in today's demo, we won't be using that operation name thing here. Then in query, you need to mention your uh, GraphQL uh, parameter name here and after that if you will notice here we are using backtick symbol if you have watched my modern javascript videos you are no, you are aware that what is this backtick uh, sign if you are not then i will share the modern javascript video link uh, under the description where i have explained the use of the backtick symbol so here you can see uh, i have added query account with name this is name this is the name of the query then the syntax is first you need to add ui api query then comes your object name which is my case it is account and here i have added a filter which will be retrieving first 10 records only so like uh, so cool queries you can add the 
filters here as well but unfortunately it is not having the limit filter like limit 10 records i saw it in the graphql official documentation but in salesforce documentation i was not able to find it and i tried it here it is not working so we'll be using first stand to get the first stand records then the syntax is you need to mention edge node then your field name so for example if i'm using id here and then i'm using name so for each field you need to mention the value as well so for each field if you need value in ui you need to mention value here as well this value parameter is also needed in syntax then we are having these uh, closing curly braces here underneath that this is a common function which you will find in any graphql example guys so this is a function basically to retrieve the data from the graphql and store it in a parameter so usually in wire adapter you can show the data like this dot result dot data but in graphql it is not the same thing so you need to have it like this so if it is returning data then i'm storing it in my result and i'm storing data dot ui api dot query then from the query we are getting accounts then we are getting edge node we are mapping it with the edge and uh, we are mapping this node with the node in the query itself to get the data uh, return in this result parameter now let me quickly show you the html part as well so in html i'm just having a simple lightning card here to have a proper layout and apart from that i'm just having a if condition to check if result is null and here i'm having a for each loop on result okay but now to fetch the data you cannot directly have result dot data instead of that you need to have the parameter name right so like my item name is account here key field i have mentioned and now to fetch the data i need to do account dot name dot value because we are fetching value of that specific account record and by doing this you will be getting this output let me quickly refresh this page and it will give you the first 10 records from your uh, object and uh, the first if i'll show you the filter quickly if i'll make it five it will give me the first five records only i'll deploy it quickly okay it is deployed now and it should return first five records yes you can see there are first five records only here okay now i'll quickly move to my next example which is how you can use reactive parameters in graphql okay so for that i'll quickly move on with my next example so this is my another example where i'm having a pick list well where i'm having a pick list which is having value uh, which is having labels basically all 1000 2000 3000 and values are 0 1000 2000 3000 here also we have imported the same graphql query and uh, records and error will be storing okay so this is a pick list which i have created here and the similar kind of a syntax you'll be noticing here but here if you will notice i'm passing a parameter as well i'm passing this minimum amount which is this one and uh, this is a currency type so we'll be getting the annual revenue basically from account okay so i have passed minimum account you must have noticed the dollar sign that means it is a reactive parameter and underneath that under query i have added a where clause as well to add the where clause you just need to add the where keyword with colon and you just need another curly braces to add your uh, parameter so i'm adding my parameter annual revenue and here i'm adding my value which is minimum amount this gt stand for greater than or equal so wherever amount is greater than 0, 1000, 2000, 3000 based on my selected value, it will show me the result. So this query filtration is a little different as compared to so-called like you cannot use the symbols like greater than or less than symbol or equals to symbol. Like if you need to get the equal data, then I think the keyword was E and Q. I'll show you in this example. The nodes are pretty similar i'm getting name value annual revenue and we are getting display value here as well and i'm having this variable here because this is going to be a reactive variable so i'm binding a variable value here which is a getter parameter under here so basically using the getter parameter i am trying to get the changed value get the reactive value in this minimum amount again so that this minimum amount can be passed here with the latest value this is the same way to 
fetch the data from GraphQL nodes to your specific parameter like we did on the previous example as well. So this is going to be something which you will be doing in your all GraphQL examples on GraphQL uh, components. Okay. And here I'm having a very basic comp basic function to handle minimum amount change. So this is basically change of the pick list I'm capturing whenever the value is getting changed. I'm entering it in the minimum amount and here as we are passing this getter parameter so whenever minimum amount will be changed this getter parameter will be doing the trick to assign the latest value to, to this minimum amount okay which we are passing here basically now let me show you the html of it so in html I'm having a combo box here where I have attached my pick list values which are minimum amount and I'm having the on change here as well and underneath that I'm having the same loop where I'm uh, printing the account name value and annual revenues display value okay now let me quickly show you the output so let me refresh it so right now the query was greater than equals to so if I will add all here so you will be noticing the data is changing over this page on runtime because this is a reactive parameter so reactive, reactively change will be happening if I'll select 3000 then only records where amount is greater than or equals to 3000 will be displayed same will happen with 2000 and 1000 as well right so that's how this reactive parameter will work I'll show you another thing quickly I'll show you equal example as well so instead of this GTE if I will do E and Q here I'll save it and deploy it quickly. Okay, it is deployed. Let me go back to the Chrome now, refresh it. Now we have changed the parameter to equal. So wherever amount will be equal to that specific amount, only that row will be displayed. For example, for 1000, you can see only one row. If I'll change it to 2000, another row is here. Data is changing dynamically in your cached memory. We are not having a single apex call here and if i will click on all there should not be any data because none of my account records are having zero as an annual revenue so that's how you can use graphql in your lightning web component i'll be posting more videos related to it where we'll be learning from beginner to intermediate things so before using the graphql guys as this is new in salesforce make sure you are having all you are having knowledge about all its limitation it should not be like you're using it in a client project or something and the client is trying to use the community and GraphQL doesn't support it okay so that's it for today I'll be having complete code on my blog which is Salesforce Bolt where I'll be mentioning the filter criteria the filter parameters that you can use and apart from that I'll be adding the limitations as well so if you need the complete code or need to check out the limitations and filter parameters do check out the blog Salesforce Bolt so that's it for today guys uh, i hope you liked the video if you like the video subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching